As you can see from the title, this is a story about my left breast. And it all started when I was 25 weeks pregnant. I got this sharp pain in my left breast and it was this stinging, burning sensation. So I went to the ER to get it checked out and they said it might be mastitis, so they put me on antibiotics. And it didn't really work because I was still in a lot of pain and it got worse. So went back and they scheduled me a breast ultrasound. And at that breast ultrasound, they did say that um, I had mastitis. But since the antibiotics weren't working as well, I ended up getting another breast ultrasound a few days later. And they said the mastitis had turned into an abscess because now I have like a collection in there. So that's what happened. And from then on, my boob started inverting. The tissue was more indented, as you can see from the before and after, and it just kept getting worse. And I tried every method I can think of. I even tried the haka, the cabbage leaves, um, pumping, like I tried everything and it just kept getting worse. I was able to get a little bit out with the haka method, but it wasn't enough to relieve the pain, unfortunately. So that is that right there. And then once I was able to pump safely, um, I got a little bit out, but it was just so thick at that by that time it didn't do any justice at all. So I went in to get it checked out with a surgeon and um, they didn't do much. They just prescribed me more medication and they did a needle aspiration. But my breast started to change colors and my nipples started to invert. I had redness around the area where they did the aspiration. I think it irritated it and made it really bad. So by this time I was ready to pop and they still haven't figured out what they could do for me. But the risks were so high they didn't have much of a choice. So they told me to wait until after I gave birth, which I did. And you can see a clip of when my son was born. So go ahead and enjoy that. So here he is, my baby boy, finally born. I was so excited he's out. And, um, I was ready for them to figure out the situation with my breast too because I feel like the pain in the breast was far worse than giving birth itself even though I went all natural. Um, so I did decide to breastfeed him on the good boob for the next six months. Um, after that I tried shutting off the milk supply. I was trying to save money on formula, but you know, the universe has another plan, so I breastfed until I couldn't anymore, um, because it was giving me more issues than resolving them. So yeah, that's me breastfeeding him, and you will see the process and the results of what happened from breastfeeding while having that same issue. Okay, so this is your warning. For the next few video clips, it will be very graphic. If you have a weak stomach, do not watch. Ooh, look at them brows. <laughs> so that is my engorged breast. My nipple was inverted and I had a blister on my nipple. I also told them that um, if they send me home, my titty is going to burst. And they still send me home anyways because they didn't have a breast specialist there. And the lactation specialist, she said in the 24 years of her career, she has never seen anything like this. So they had no idea what to do. Um, so when they sent me home, sure enough, my boob busted and I had to drain it out myself. And here's a clip of me doing just that. And the pain was so bad. It was burning, um, sharp pain but i had to do it because nobody else was gonna do it for me the doctors couldn't help me so that's 
what I was left with. And afterwards, um, the next morning, I felt extremely weak, fatigue. I couldn't really breathe much. I felt my breath was getting more shallow and um, slowly my body started to get cold and numb. So I think I was going to sepsis, I think it's called sepsis, like when your body goes into shock and the infection has spread, you know, too far. And I literally felt like I was gonna die on my bed that morning. But good thing my husband took my son to the pediatrician and the pediatrician called his friend, Dr. Portugal. And she is my current surgeon. She is my life savior <laughs> next to Dr. Dukak, which is the pediatrician who made the phone call. So yeah, um, that was when I went to see Dr. Portugal. It was all purple and Mount Tiritaka was just bad. After she drained it, um, that's how it bandaged up. And I can't believe all this happened literally after giving birth because I was bleeding from my arm. I had a lot of holes in my arm from the IV and they busted my vein. And I was bleeding from my hoo-ha after giving birth and they give you these fancy diapers for you to wear for the next two weeks. And I was bleeding from my boob. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I lost a lot of blood and that's why I look so pale and oobly. <laughs> that's my son. But yeah, so I didn't know what to expect while pulling the gauze off. I definitely was not expecting two holes. So yeah, I had just woken up and decided to change. I wanted to shower, but I was so confused right here. You can tell by the look of my face, like what in the world is going on? Like, why is it stuck? And that's because it was just packed in to two holes. So I slowly take it out. Uh, yeah, and it was gross. It looks like a, a bloody nose but instead it's a bloody titty. So yeah, that's that. And then I do the same thing with the second hole. I pull it out slowly without trying to hurt myself. And this hole was bigger than the hole on my nipple. And there's a little blue steam right, string right there. It's a rubber band for drainage to keep the holes open so everything can drain out so that's why that's there so i'm patching it up right here or trying to uh, figure out which gauze to use because yeah i had no idea what i was doing so i was kind of winging it but i managed to do it taped it back up and took a breather because man, this freaking suck. Contemplating on life. So that's the blue rubber band that I was talking about for drainage. It's to prevent the holes from closing completely so everything like the milk and stuff can drain out. Um, but yeah, my boob was still inflamed. It did turn red, and um, but it was healing. It was kind of closing up. So, yeah. The only bad thing about the healing process was every time I changed the bandage, a piece of my skin would rip off. So that's why I'd always bleed every time I changed it. So the healing took longer. And I was still trying to pump on that boob, but it was just blood tinge and it didn't go very well. I ended up getting milk blisters on that boob and um, when it got so bad, I would have to go in and get a needle aspiration or sometimes it'll just pop and I'll drain it out myself. But these are the pictures of the healing process, the milk blisters and everything. 
it literally looked like my titty was dying it was decaying because it turned black purple it was just bad and my nipple was still inverted so the healing process took a whole year and i kept getting blisters at one point i had seven hole seven holes in my boob just from milk blisters so that's why after six months i decided to wrap it up and cut off the milk supply because it was more troublesome than solving the issue so that's when I went into the surgeon's office to get it drained. But yeah. It looks very gross. It's kind of better right there. And I was still breastfeeding at that time. I was a cow on the right breast. But the left breast kept bleeding, kept getting milk blisters, and it was just all bad. This is what I had to deal with, the healing process and everything, and I did my best to breastfeed. My oldest son, he is so sweet. He was very caring and loving to his little brother, but yeah. Oh, and my boob would also leak oil it would get oily and milk will come out at the same time. It was weird. But yeah, there's my little papas, Royston. Enjoying that breast milk. Ain't nothing better than 100% Cambodian breast milk. Ask Dave Chappelle, he knows. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, so there's the milk and the blisters more and more pictures I was able to cover it up with two pads this time I know still nasty nipple still inverted but after a year it healed completely I hardly have a scar there as you can see but that is my story I hope you guys enjoyed it if you know anybody that's going through the same thing please let me know so we can share stories I'd love to hear it